Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM Concept. For this video, we are going to show you how to perform an initial calculation to possibly weed out any preliminary tendon layout errors or warnings you may receive prior to performing your actual optimization. So at this step in my workflow, I've already created all of my optimizable post-tensioned tendons in my RAM concept model, which consists of a banded tendon layout in the latitude direction and a distributed tendon layout in the longitudinal direction. Now before I move forward with my optimization, I'm going to perform an initial partial calculation. Now the calculation will use the minimum optimizable values, such as your minimum effective force, minimum number of strands, and minimum elevation for each of your optimizable objects. As such, the initial calculation won't necessarily eliminate all warnings that may occur during an optimization, but it will give you an opportunity to adjust the tendon layouts before the optimization process if you do receive any warnings. Now here I can see I've already started receiving some warnings. Um, taking a look at my latitude direction, looks like I have a tendon out of a slab. And in the longitude direction, looks like I have a minimum radius warning. And again, another tendon outside the slab. So I'm going to allow it to complete the partial calculation, and then I'm going to take a look to see if those are possible areas that I might be able to adjust before the optimization process. Now, after you perform a calculation, your warnings and errors will appear on screen. And let's go ahead and start with the latitude direction. So this is my banded tendon layout. I can see that I'm receiving some warnings. What's happening here is I have some tendons outside the slab. And this represents, along grid line C, a step in my slab. I go from a 12-inch thick slab down to a 10-inch thick slab, and it is a depression, so the 10-inch slab is 2 inches lower. I'm seeing that more than likely what's happening is that I should take a look at that profile polyline at that location. So let's go ahead and advance to the latitude tendon parameters standard plan. And we're talking about this support polyline here. So with my selection tool active, let me go ahead and select each segment that is going to affect the banded tendons as it goes from the thicker to the thinner slab. I'm going to right click and say selection properties. Now if I were to take a look at the optimization tab, I could see that this isn't even an optimizable object. So for sure, when I perform the optimization, I'm going to get an error or a warning here. So let's go ahead and adjust them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these tendons down to make sure that they don't accidentally come out of the slab at that slab step. So I'm going to push it down two inches, which for me is the thickness of my slab depression. OK. I've taken a look at the latitude direction. Let's see what's happening with the longitude direction. And if I were to zoom in, I could see, OK, I have a profile polyline right adjacent to this edge of slab but RAM concept is going to try to exit the tendons at the mid-depth of the slab. So I'm going from the top of the slab in a very short distance to the mid-depth of the slab, which is causing that radius error. So let's go ahead and adjust that, and that will actually be occurring on the longitude tendon parameters standard plan. So let's go ahead and take a look, and here is the offending support polyline for my particular model. Again, my support polylines aren't exactly, they're not optimizable objects. So regardless, when I perform an optimization, I'm going to get this warning. What I'd like to do is actually delete this support polyline just for the places where it's adjacent to that opening. So I'm going to come over to my layer specific toolbar, and I can use my split profile polyline tool for this option. With that tool selected, I could just select a corner of the slab 
And if I turn on my snap orthogonal tool, I can basically cut that support polyline. Let's go ahead and do it at the four corners of the slab. Then with my selection tool, let me go ahead and select, if I could click on it, this support polyline, I'm going to get rid of it by clicking on my delete key. This support polyline, I can delete as well. Let's go ahead and re-perform a calculation to see if we are doing better now. So I'm going to save my model again and then just re-perform a new partial calculation. So my model is doing better. All of the objects I ended up modifying were actually manually specified locations. So I know that I would have gotten those errors during an optimization. So I've eliminated that possibility by performing a preliminary calculation. Now again, the preliminary calculation may not find all errors or warnings, but it will definitely give you an opportunity to make some adjustments before spending the time to do an optimization. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.